Now, Greg, were you looking at Kevin Smith's movies for actors, or how did you? Uh, no, actually, I mean, there was Jason. a, you know, I, I had a very short list of people that you do right at the beginning of, like, who would be your dream guy to play Earl, and uh, <coughs> Jason was on it, and then I got feedback that he wasn't interested in TV, so I moved on, and we couldn't, um, we couldn't even look at any other roles until we cast Earl. It was cast contingent pickup on, on the character of Earl. So then we went and we auditioned people for two months and uh, saw a ton of people. And a lot of people were good, but nobody was perfect for the role. And then, thank goodness, we got a call that um, Jason's manager had read the script and liked it and got it to him. And he read it and liked it and wanted to come in and have a meeting. And at the end of the meeting, <coughs> he left and we got word that uh, he wanted to do it. So then everything kind of fell into place. We were, uh, you know, that's when we got, you know, the rest of our cast. And uh, I was actually watching uh, with Ethan a lot of people ask me, you know, because they're friends from, from way back, and they say, well, you know, is that how Ethan ended up on the show? And it, it wasn't. It was just a coincidence because I was watching a uh, movie without a paddle, and I was watching the DVD commentary, and somebody was talking about uh, Ethan and how he was doing something in a scene, how he was a bad guy, but he wouldn't point his gun at the, the people that he caught. And the director was getting mad at him, and they asked him, why won't you point your gun? And he goes, ah, because it took us a while to catch these guys. I'm thinking maybe the whole bad guy thing isn't for me, so I'm rethinking it. <laughs> <laughs> and the actor's talking about how Ethan's like, the director's getting mad at Ethan, and then, but Ethan finally just did it his way. And so I went back and watched that scene, and it was hilarious, because there he is, and the gun's to the side, and... And I thought, this guy is a genius. Um, <laughs> he's taking the smallest thing and, and making it great. And so um, I said, please see if he'll come in. The first day of shooting, we couldn't figure out what Ethan was doing. His mouth was open, and he was looking up at the sky. And we asked him, and he said, uh, he said uh, Randy, Ran septum. Randy has a deviated septum, and he's looking, always looking for aliens. <laughs> so good. And that's when I knew I had the same guy that wouldn't point his gun at the bad guy. <laughs>